155 singers from across Canada auditioned for this moment. I work hard. I do a lot of things. I and I, I hope that a day like this one happen. In the end, the ensemble studio competition came down to nine finalists. It was the third time the Canadian Opera Company has held this competition, for the first time on its big Toronto stage. So many lights, so many people, but couldn't really see them. But So that helped the nerves, I think, personally. Oh, it's fabulous. It's the future of opera. You get like these very, very young people, they're all in their mid-twenties, and they all have made a choice, and the choice is they want to be a professional opera singer. And we can help them on their way. A panel of five judges watched and listened, off in the dark, through two rounds. I'm looking for solid vocal technique, because that's something we cannot teach them anymore if they haven't learned it in university where they're coming from. Beyond that, we look for artistry. And we look for someone who really wants it. Well, I'd love to continue doing this for the rest of my life. I mean, this is really what I've been dreaming of and what I've been wanting to do uh, since I was pretty young and I, I can remember. Now, this competition was more than just about winning prizes. It's also about securing a position within the opera company's ensemble studio. They would be trained here for two or three years and then they would go off to the world, you know, and, and have, you know, hopefully great careers. That selection process will be firmed up over the coming weeks. On this night, the judges awarded cash prizes to the top three. Karine Boucher of Quebec City was the winner, collecting $5,000. The 25-year-old won an additional 1500 with the Audience Choice Award. It's amazing to have the first prize, but to have this, this, this affection, this uh, agreement uh, from the public, it's just like, I'm doing this work for them. Debbie Lytle-Kwan, CBC News, Toronto.